God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Um, just want to say I love you guys. Thank you so much for um, all your prayers. Um, all those who reached out um, to me and my family. Um, as my mom went to be with the Lord. Um, just want to say God bless all you guys for um, the love and support. <clears throat> Continue to lift us up in prayer as we walk continually by faith. Um, my mom always taught us how to trust in the Lord and lean not to our own understanding. Um, her and my late father, um, she was a praying woman, a um, woman of God that read the word. Um, not just read it, but exercise what she read um, and always taught us, always taught us how to um, be real. You know, she would often tell us all, me and uh, my beautiful sisters and the whole family, um, to be real. Um, I honor my whole family, the ones who went with the Lord and the ones who still here. And my mom tell you, um, you just really never really ready for that. <clears throat> just not. Whether um, it's expected or unexpected, you're never ready um, for a loved one to be lost. I um, just want to thank God for um, the life she lived, how she raised us up in the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and um, how um, she had a beautiful attitude, you know, um, when she meant something, she let you know, you know, when it was funny, she laughed, when it wasn't, she kept it serious, <clears throat> didn't really like all the fake stuff, didn't want us to operate in that. She said, when you're smiling and you're laughing, let it be genuine. Um, so I just want to say um, I thank God for her and the life she lived. Uh, she touched so many people's lives, um, singing in the choir years and years. Beautiful, uh, soprano voice. <clears throat> At her uh, home going, which I was just, I guess, not strong enough to um, partake of. Um, I had memories and still have memories and celebrated her life in another way, in a personal way. Um, so for those who are uh, my sisters and my family, which um, put together a beautiful home going service. May God bless all of you guys. Um, everybody that participated, the guests, and everybody uh, <clears throat> that prayed for our family. My mom would always, she would let us know that we need to stick together pray for one another and I thank God that we have a family that love one another you know I will often shine away for some odd reason you know after I lost my dad a long time ago and stuff and my baby it's, it's just a lot going on and a lot of surprises unfortunately that occur in life um 
that you're not ready for. Um, breakups, people walking away from you, loved ones leaving, going home to be with the Lord. It just reminds us that we got to be ready. We really must stay grounded in Jesus. As believers, that's our foundation. He said, upon his rock, I build my church, which is you and I for those who believe Christ is Lord. He said, the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Storms will come. Storms will come. But God said the gates of hell should not prevail against the church. So therefore, um, let's continue to stand on the rock of Christ Jesus, the foundation of his teachings, the teachings of Jesus, and keep our faith in God Almighty. Because when hard times come, when we get bad news from the doctor or bad news from um, our jobs or bad news from, you know, just family or bad news from anything. Um, we really have to stay grounded in Christ. Tears will flow. Feel like you just want to give up. And the question is, give up on what? Give up on what? You know, I don't know how you guys feel, but it's like sometimes you just wonder, like, Lord, what is it? Um, what's the motive? You know, you feel like this unction that God is saying, minister or share, my goodness, the word of God. And the word of God is Jesus Christ. He said in this world we will have trouble. A lot of trouble. He said, but I have overcome the world. So in this world, we will have a lot of trouble. People will betray you. People will lie on you. People will misjudge you. People would just be mean to you for no apparent reason, even though you try to be the best you you possibly can be. Perfection is in Christ and Christ alone. He said, be perfect for I am perfect. When he said that, it was interesting. He said, pray for your enemies. Pray for those who maliciously do you wrong and lie. He said, you know, don't, you, I know you heard eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Because when you're going through hard times and emotional things and crisis occur in your life, emotionally, you get hit hard. You, you get hit and it's like you get hit in you days and you weren't expecting it. And sometimes you just don't know how to handle it. And all you can do is just say, Jesus. Have you ever been there? Just Jesus. Emotionally distraught, distorted, don't know how to receive, asking why, when you're trying to do the best you can. But God's word is his word. He tells us. These things will happen for those who believe. And if you and if you go through punishment and we go through punishment or, or persecution, let it be for righteousness. Let's not let it be for unrighteousness. Let's not let it be for, you know, vile or conceited or selfish reasons, but let it be for the obedience of Christ and if the enemy is trying to raise up a standard 
I mean, uh, uh, raise up his head. God raised up a standard against him. He said, be still and know that I am the Lord. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Forgive fast. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Grief. Grief is interesting. Grief is something that um, I don't know if anybody ever really just understood it. Um, it it allows you to be isolated sometime and you don't feel like talking to nobody even the people you love. You wonder what can you do to make you feel better, but then you feel guilty if you feel better. Certain things you can't fix. And I believe sometimes we go through stuff so God can let us see. You can't fix this one. Only I can fix this one. You got to let go and let God. Have you ever tried to fix something that was out of your control? That's why he said vengeance is the Lord because a lot of times people want to take vengeance or revenge because they don't emotionally... how to respond to the attack that attack your emotion. <laughs> Life and death is in the power of the tongue. When things happen, That's out of our control. Thank you, Lord, for your son. Thank you for shining your light on me. Hallelujah. You just got to let go and let God. Thank you, Lord. See, God know how to love us. When it's dark, he can shine a light on a situation or, you know, he's a loving God. It's almost like my mom in heaven, like, you know, when you got a baby and the baby crying and the parent start playing with him, you know, start, and you know, start lighting them up and the eyes be all light and start smiling and playing with him. Then the baby stop crying and the baby feel a little better because love is there. Love has different shapes and forms. Sometimes love hurts. You know, he chastised those. He loved to get us um, disciplined and have us um, what we need to be. But then he he's a loving God where he comforts us. When we need to be comforted. Then you, you want to be strong because you feel like, hey, that's the thing we ought to do. But God said, be strong and be very courageous. But sometimes we just feel like being weak, you know? Sometimes you get tired of being strong. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we have to be joyful when God would shine his light on us like that sun just burst in here. To remind you, I'm with you. Cheer up. Trouble don't last always. I want y'all to know I love y'all. I want y'all to pray for me. This is no sad, nothing like that. No moms. She's in a better place. I honor her. I honor the life she lived.
She raised us in the Lord. She raised us in the Lord. Listen. <clears throat> Continue to stay in that word. Put on the whole armor of God. Because these, in this world, it is what it is. But God, Jesus said, I overcame the world. So stay in that secret place. I want to encourage you guys, if you're going through some hard times or whatever you're going through, um, know that know that God loves you. Know that put some worship music on when you're feeling like you 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 don't have nobody to talk to. Pray in tongues if you have the gift of tongues. Um, if you I don't care if you have pennies, you, you know if you see somebody like a homeless person or something like that, you go bless that person for real for real. Man, it's like anyway, it ain't about that. But thank you, Lord, for shining your light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We honor you, God. Thank you, Father, for being in this place right now. Hallelujah. We acknowledge you, God. Let thy will be done. Thy kingdom come on earth in our life. Father, in every dark place, Father, as this light that is shining on me, in us right now, even though it's cloudy, you bursting through with this sun right here, letting us know in every dark feeling place you're with us. Thank you, God, for being with us. Hallelujah. Let your light shine on the situation. Whoever's watching this, let them know that your light can light up every dark area of their life, whether it be in their finances, whether it be in their health, whether it be in their relationships, whether it be in their thoughts, whether it be in their body. Father, let your illuminating light shine on us, God. Hallelujah. Shine on me. Oh, shine on me. Let the lighthouse shine on me. Thank you, Jesus, for shining your light. Let me tell you something. When you're in a dark place, God will shine his light on you. Shadows all around you. But God is watching. He's looking at you. You're not alone. Yeah, you feel alone, but you're not alone. God will be there with you. When you feel like you're not comforted and you feel like everything is going wrong, God Almighty is there watching over you. Watching over you, saying it's going to be all right. Whatever you go through, it's going to be all right. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Love everyone. If you have done anything out of emotion to try to take revenge, repent swiftly and you pray and you be good to those who are not good to you because the Bible says then you will be the sons of God. You will be the children of God when you do that. You want to continue to be the children of light, not the children of darkness. Continue to be the children of light, like the word of God says. For we serve the God of light. He don't cast shadows. He's not like dark, like men. But we serve the God of light. We are the children of light. So let your light shine. 
in spite of what you're going through, let your light shine. I honor you. The Bible say, honor the Lord. He will honor you. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ.